Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play RimWorld! And when we last things left last left things off, uh we took a little bit of damage. Um Goro in particular has lost an arm! I don't think anyone else is missing body parts. Oh, we didn't realize Pi has a bad back. He probably came that way too. Oh dang. Oh dang. Also, someone's gotta go and uh, treat uh LeBlanc's little injury over here. Sorry, did I just say LeBlanc? Oh, I hate myself so much right now. Sly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift Q you working on LeBlanc over here. Uh, because we need to make sure that doesn't get infected. We're going to work on um, on walling up um, more of a front door over here for us later. We'll probably build a wall around these uh, the wind turbine. We'll have one more. Um, and then we can work on a little bit of a, of a kill box type of thing. I mean, we just don't have turrets. I'm still, I'm happy we're researching microelectronics first, but turrets probably will have to come relatively soon. Everything else about our base, like food-wise and everything like that, we should be in wonderful shape. It's mostly just safety, I think, is going to be the next highest priority. Lots of major break risk, but of course, everyone is pretty miserable right now. And things are pretty dirty, too. All right, you're going to go relax socially. That's going to be okay. It's too bad we don't have any fancy meals. Um, nothing for us to hunt. Why is this you... Oh, it's down, but not dead. I guess I can issue a finish off command. Uh, can you do it, Chantel? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get you to do that right away. Thank you. And then these meals, we're going to also haul urgently inside. Oh, is it another one of these? What is with these use? Why are they instantly deteriorating? Because all these guys rotted instantly, including this one that we just we just booped. I guess I'll forbid you. I mean, it doesn't. I don't think they'll haul the rot. Well, they might haul it in here, depending on our rules. Yeah, which they clearly did. Um, we might want to change that. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. Hmm. Because if something happens to rot inside the base, we do want it to be hauled outdoors. As long as I guess everything. As long as everything that's rotten is forbidden, that's okay. I don't remember one of my mods. Does it add with forbid? No. I mean, I said it's right-click button, it actually had a button that said, you know, forbid all rotten or something like that. But it would be forbid all rotten that's also not in your base, like maybe, I don't know. So we'll just try to be on top of things. All right, everyone is up currently, which is at least a ting that exists for us. Gore is still moving very slowly. They're very, very, very injured. A little bit of malnutrition as well. Uh, also chilly. Is it just because you were walking through the freezer? I mean, that must be it. You're currently in an uncomfortable uh, temperature situation, but it should be all. What's your moving? 16%. I mean, you do have a lot of bruises and, and pain to your legs, so that does make sense. And your consciousness is low, but that is apocalyptically slow. Like, that's so slow you should be, in, like, maybe in bed. The bed rest priority is relatively high over here, but I think the, the fun is is taken over. I don't. I might be able to issue you. Goro, your bed's over here. Can I tell you to just rest for now? No. Maybe, yeah, I was going to say, if we had more medical beds, I could force you to do that there. Um, all of our beds are accounted for for someone right now. I suppose I could temporarily make Goro's bed just a medical bed and then force you to go in there. I mean, sort of, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. So who doesn't have a weapon anymore? As I was gonna say, Goro's probably one. Uh, Pi as well. Uh, you do have a bad back there, Pi. I like that our, our chef is named Pi. I realize the spelling is different. Oh, <gasps> incapable of violence. Okay. Well then, Chantal, uh, I will shift Q for you. Oh, that might still... Sorry, that's not Chantal. That's Langraft, which I guess is also okay. All right, rest and then equip a weapon, which I was going to say what the rest might mean they go and grab it right away, which is okay. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, dirty cooking area. I mean, you knew it was going to happen at some point. Hopefully there's not too much of that going on. You know, if I was running more mods, I would run a little bit more of a um, cleaning type modifier mod. Well, I mean, and I guess that wouldn't clean change the gameplay too much to make cleaning zones. And I might, you know, increase the, the thing. Things are really dirty. I might just have to make sure to keep manually cleaning this area up over here. I could install the, um, there's, what is it? There's like a doormat mod that helps to clean things. Goro, okay, Goro's no longer, you only got one arm now, so you're going to be taken off hunting duty. Um, it might be Sly. You've only had a 
five, but you've got a fair amount of passion for the skills that are relevant. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. It can interrupt your research, but again, hunting is not something that happens very frequently, so hopefully it'll be okay. All right, we do have a lot of ducks. And I think... Yeah, well, we still we still have a bunch of old meals that are still uh, sitting around being dirty or being yeah that they've already been contaminated, so that does suck a lot. Pi, before you start the next round of cooking, just in case, although I don't think it's um, affecting anymore. How come I can't right click over here? That's dirty. That seems weird. Anyone else? Just, yeah, queue up some little right clicks. I realize here this door is jammed open temporarily. It's not the end of the world. Landgraf is in a daze. Hideous environment was the thing that put them over the edge. There you go, yeah. Thank you for grabbing that meal and freeing up the door so I don't have to worry about anything. A little bit of daze over there is not the end of the world. So Gore would actually become incapable of walking. Probably they got so tired that their consciousness level or, or moving, well, plus the food poisoning and everything like that, probably all contributed to getting below a certain number here. Yeah, all these, this food poisoning is actually going to be really bad. So, shift click here, do a little bit more cleaning. Uh, no, clean over here. Although they're still set to cleaning sand. We might have tried to clean over here. There you go, now doing relaxing. What if kittens actually out of jobs and they're down to just natural cleaning? What do we do? Spy's throwing a tantrum. I'm gonna smash up some things. Intense pain. I mean, I get it. There's gonna be a lot of this. People are gonna be pretty miserable for a little bit. I think if we get enough eggs, we can make fine meals with them. Hopefully that is the case. We still have the forced weather, which isn't gonna help either, because it's making people feel really miserable. Okay, pie over here. The cooking is important. Do I do something with pie kind of like this? There are other cooks, so it's not the end of the world. Maybe I'll leave the construct up, actually. Um, see, LeBlanc doesn't actually have passion for cooking, but they're not bad at it. I'll just I'll just do this for now. Um, so if there's something to be built, Pi will do it, but otherwise they'll clean before they get back to cooking. Which is a bit unfortunate, because their cooking skill's really good. Oh, they flipped out. After their tantrum. They just, you know, they just drove themselves to sleep. It's okay. We have the meal, so a little construction's not the end of the world. I don't know. I, it would be nice to maybe have a, like someone who really cleans a lot as a priority, but it, it feels so hard to justify. So hard to justify. No, I just want to select one. Okay. Working on some construction. You're going to go eat a meal. Chantal is harvesting some plants. You're moving quite slowly. You are food poisoned. Major food poisoning. Oof. Um, and yeah, it does make you move so much more slowly. Uh, Landgraf is still uh, having a bit of a wander, which I guess is going to have to be okay. I don't need to prioritize getting the hay in. It actually lasts a fairly decent amount of time. I might put a urgent on the berries here and say these potatoes and this cotton, actually. Dirty cooking area. I mean, the, the cooking area is dirty again, but again, those are probably um, previous meals. Still, uh, no, I meant to prioritize cleaning sand, actually. And then prioritize, prioritize. I might just have to make sure to keep working on this area. Well, that's probably why I couldn't right-click before, because it was probably part of a job that already existed. There you go, you're going to do that. I don't know what the radius is. I don't think it's the entire room. Like, I don't think it's anywhere close to the entire room. In terms of dirt. I think it's just, like, within five top. But I'm going to have to look this up. And actually, I'm clearly going to have to look up. Hold on. Um, Rim World Dirt. What do people say? You know, there you go. How do my floors get dirty? Yeah, they walk on dirt, they pick it up on their feet. I mean, this is, so this is someone posting, this is how I understand it. Now, have we been wrong this whole time? Does, do, do colonists not actually, you know, bring in dirt or anything like that? 
animals randomly yeah they produce a little bit they can stack on a tile and they pick it up okay someone seems to have some mechanics here dirt and filth can stack on a tile colonists walking over that tile can pick up stacks of filth and deposit them elsewhere i think the upper limit's like 12 stacks no tiles in general reduce filth you think cobblestone paths would help but they don't at least in 1.0 and then yeah there's doormat mod which helps clean people um clean people's feet i think it's just that we have to put more floor down which you know another sad wonder um and the question is can we justify spending more construction on more flooring i mean we're doing the bedroom here which is important to keep people in a fairly decent mood um spacecraft yes please and in fact if uh if you have others no just that one but that's gonna have to be okay Now, cobblestone. I think cobblestone lays down faster. I know it uses less material. Long time delay. Cobblestone does not. Oh, it uses exactly the same material, but I think it goes faster. It's not as pretty, and you don't get it back when you deconstruct it. I don't tend to like doing cobblestone, but maybe, mayhaps, in the interest of time, and the fact that this dirt is starting to become a real problem, maybe what we're going to do is we are going to start putting down some cobblestones. Oh, there's some soft sand over there, which might always be a problem. Um, because it'll give us a place where, you know, hopefully as they walk around the dirt, they'll lay the dirt down on there rather than bringing it indoors. Uh, hopefully there's flooring under the door. I think there is. And this will still help people move faster as well. Um... I think I might want to finish this as a... Ah, you know what? No. I'm going to cobblestone that. Oh, there's some more soft sand over here, which does limit our construction. That might forever be a bit of a problem, actually. Hmm. All right. Kitten is fully healed. That's good. Anything ongoing? You've got a scratch that aches a little bit. Whether or not that's something from our injuries or something that they've had, you know, before they joined us, who knows? So yeah, that's that's gonna be a lot of cobblestone work, but at this point the dirt is actually becoming such a damn problem. Before you finish cooking, well, I'll just keep doing this. Yeah, the, the floor mat mod would do so much for us in this base. I think if um, there was more stone just outside, just even like just stone floor, I think it might be less dirty than the sand. I think the sand really gets trapped in aggressively. Group of travelers is passing by. Good for them. We haven't done any research in a while. Oh, happy little chat over here, which is nice. There you go, Sly. Doing some research. So at least we've got that. Okay. Landgraf, how are you doing with your injuries? You're getting there. You're getting there. All right. Laying down these tiles. I think it goes fast. Now, um, Sly is flagged to be a hunter. Currently does not have a ranged weapon. Let's give you that. Let's actually put a hull urgently on the stone that's blocking the door here that someone must have dropped because they were throwing a tantrum or collapsed or something like that. Yay, more vomit. Tell you what, Chantal. All right. Eat your meal. You know, next to the vomit. That's fine. Come on. Well, then I guess I can... Queue up a little bit of this. Actually, let's cue that as well. Do, do, do. Come on, Sly! Let's get our microelectronics! We can start tra trading with spaceships and everything. How's our power situation? Is it leading out over there? Yeah, okay. So we've got power going everywhere where we're going to need it. A uh, heat wave. I think we're fine with this. We have enough cooling set up that um, people will be able to get indoors and cool off fairly regularly. It'll get warmer, especially in this big room with only one cooler, to be okay. There's a possibility that our freezer here won't be a freezer. It'll only be a refrigerator, but that should still mostly be okay. It's conceivable we lose a little bit of food, but overall we should be fine. God, this research is not going that fast. Sly, what is your actual... Well, it's not bad. A 12. Um, what are your stats though for research uh right here 137 your manipulation is not at the peaks yeah you've got a slight dip to your uh manipulation because of your left arm is slightly injured and you've got a slight ding to your consciousness probably because of pain yeah which is just there because of those and we right now we can't do anything heat stroke pie 
And I was going to say, it's going to be initial, and they do seek out safe temperatures. So this is, yeah, this is above zero, so it's a refrigerator, not a freezer. They do seek out for safe temperatures. Oh, you know what we need to do? If this is going to be a hospital, and I think it will be long term, um, we need to get a freezer here ASAP. So best skilled constructor is Pi. Let me get you to work on this right away. Because it's going to be really important that the um, refrigerator isn't too hot. Let's suck that Pi doesn't move very quickly. And is having to do all the hauling, but... Okay, components, that's fine. Should hopefully not fail. There we go, okay. Good, good, good. And there's no reason to change the temperature setting on these freezer, these coolers. They don't work any harder if we set them to a lower temperature. Because right now they're just struggling to try to maintain 20. They'll also struggle to try to maintain, you know, 16 or whatever we might put it at. So 21 still makes a lot of sense, which is, yeah, what these are set by by default, which is going to be A-OK. -okay. We'll want to floor this at some point. Um, we have to research, I think we have to research sterile tiles, don't we? The floor over here. Um, yeah, it is a tech we research. So, despite the fact that it's not going to help with some of the dirt situation, I'm not going to be flooring our hospital right now. Mm -hmm. Now, if these corridors become indoors later on, this thing, we'll have to make sure to make a little cooler for it. But what we might do is we might build an adjacent room over here and then make a little closet to help vent the temperature rather than treat this as a hallway, which I think is actually a pretty decent idea. Uh, we're doing some more cooking with some pretty dirty stuff. Can we prioritize cleaning this? I mean, especially, I mean, like, vomit. Come on. Let's clean that up right away. Please. Boom. Botch construction. So, yeah, with the food poisoning, it's going to make things dirtier. But hopefully we can get some of the floor down, and that's going to be okay. What are we looking at? 21, 22. Okay, so the temperature is maintaining. And actually, the freezer is just barely, but it is holding on to its freezerness. You know, it gets a little harder when people move in and out. Again, I don't mind the fact we don't have a double door over here, because this room needs to be stayed cool anyway. So, I mean, yeah, the freezer loses a little bit of heat, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, as long as it doesn't get so bad that we consistently get food rot. But I don't think it's likely to be much of a problem. At some point, we might consider adding a third... Um, cooler in here and that would guarantee that even in the heat wave we would be well refrigerated and that's not a terrible idea we put two in here because it was good minimum and we didn't want to use up too much material earlier but at this point i think at this point we're, we're pretty much ready for an expansion we are nearly out of empty graves but i think i'd rather the construction people to do this than dig graves since we do have some to spare still yeah i like that <clears throat> so you go to there We will definitely wall this area in. Maybe not completely. Like, maybe mostly some walls. And we can leave this as sort of an outer wall. Yeah, people can walk in and out, but it'll make for good natural defensive locations. Wow, it's over 50 degrees. As I say, now it's definitely not going to be a freezer. When it was 40s, sure, that's fine. Some heat stroke as people are, you know, doing some work outdoors, but that's okay. I still like building a little trail over here. Um, and actually, let's... Uh, little hall and actually these over here we'll put a little hauler originally because people do walk faster along these paths so they will prefer that which also reduces some of the dirt but you know we get a little speed boost it's kind of nice it looks a little silly but at the same time i don't kind of make some sense ostrich rare thrombos well i oh first of all these can be retuned over here that's going to be fine I don't think I like the idea of hunting the rare thrombos at this point. I don't think it's a very good idea for us. Um, this stuff is deteriorating. So I think I'll put a halt urgently on that. I mean, the hay is as well. I don't know if the hay is quite as... Well, it's actually getting pretty low as a percentage. Let's do this. Because, I mean, I could also just increase people's um, hauling priority for a little bit, but... Just a little cleaning. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. From time to time, we'll encourage some people to do a wee bit of cleaning. The bedrooms might need a little bit more cleaning as well. But again, there's a there's less dirt production happening now, and I think that's going to make a big difference. Mm -hmm. We'll do some more flooring in here. I mean, a lot of people walk in this area. 
that might be another place where we're going to want to have people, you know, just kick off dust while they walk back and forth here outside instead of trudging it inside. Um, flooring up the, um, uh, the stock room is a good idea too. And we might, I think this is going to continue to be a stock room long time, long term stockpile. Uh, and since we don't really care about the beauty of this as much, more flagstone is probably okay. We are out of blocks though. Until someone gets around to crafting some more. Uh, and right now, like, crafting isn't something that's enabled for that many people. And, you know, people are pretty busy. LeBlanc is having to do a lot of cooking. And it feels, you know... Well, someone's got to do a lot of cooking all the time. And most... It's funny. Like, our crafters tend to be our cooks as well. Yeah. I think that's going to have to be okay. We are out of veg at this point. Although we're doing another harvest, which is good. And... I think what we'll do is we'll encourage some hauling over here. We can probably dial back on some of the hay. In fact, what I think I might do over here is change you. We could start doing a cash crop. But I'm wondering if a little more food might be worthwhile. The corn takes the longest to grow, doesn't it? Uh, 11.3 days. Yeah. A little further away from our base. Let's make this corn. We're yeah, we got plenty of hay with probably this at this point. I mean, we can see we've got tons stored. Uh, so we will go ahead and do that. The hay does decay over time. It, but it won't it won't decay because it's not outside. It will rot eventually. But it does take a really long time to rot. We've got tons in storage. Probably this is going to be enough hay production. Um, we will see. Uh, let's get these. Oops these rocks over here we'll put a non-urgent hall uh, maybe what i'll do is i'll put a little urgent hall right here this is one of the areas people would like to walk through we might just path around slightly differently to take care of that now dun, 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 dun. there you go angoro relaxing in your room uh land graph let's clean around the cooking area again yeah, making like a, having a separate job, you know, like we've got like hall plus, it'd be neat if we had a clean plus and we could put a clean plus zone like right here and maybe in the hospital. That would be kind of nice. So yeah, until we have granite, this won't finish, but I, I'm okay. I'm okay. We put down enough that it is going to help a fair amount with the dirt. Low food. Yeah, I agree. I thought we were doing another, another harvest here, but perhaps not. Now, the thrombos, they like to eat trees or something, right? Yeah, which could be a little bit annoying. I mean, I could do a drafted hunt on these guys, but they can be really nasty. And sell the uh, horn for a lot of money, but I don't know. Push comes to shove, we, we can always do is eat a few more ducks. Um, we've got two drakes, right? No, one drake only. Okay, only one male duck. Um... We want to make sure we don't freeze fertilized eggs. I think. Do not bring fertilized eggs here. And I don't remember if there's anything we have to do special with fertilized eggs. Yeah, ruined by temperature. Um, and I think, yeah. Uh, I, I think our cooking instructions is not to use fertilized eggs. I forgot that that's on by default. It's not the end of the world. Although we have enough hay, actually. It would have been really nice to start having some little ducklings. So that we can, you know, I mean, we could always eat the excess. Or have even more of an egg generation industry. Considering we have infinite hay. So we we're converting hay into things humans eat. I, oh, Pi's actually getting around to doing some cleaning now. Hey, hey, hey. Nothing to cook. There's no, there's no... Well, actually, you clean above cooking, which is nice. So if there's no construction for Pi to do, Pi cleans now. And I think I'm quite happy with that situation. So it's going to keep the base a fair bit neater. It might be a good time for us to double check. Hey, how's our home zone? Um, what I'll do is I'll trim this down. Here and here. You can keep this path a little clean. Um, I mean, we do have to worry about fires and things. Same thing like this. But we don't want any cleaning there. So we can we can always redesignate these areas to be home zones um, for later on. Deal with the fire. So I'm not going to put down any more 
flagstone right now because we don't have the stone. I mean, we could add, like, I could put a couple of blocks of slate, a couple of blocks of marble, but microelectronics is done. Nice. I... I've talked about a few things at this point. I feel like we probably need to start working towards turrets. Which are where? Oh, it's just locked there. Um, can we not do turrets at all until we have the other station now? Why can I not find it? Gun turrets. Oh, over here. Okay, so I can queue it up. Yeah, it's going to take a long way. And actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to be able to start making some good high-quality guns. Things like that. Um, we do want to go production high-tech research bench. Which I'm going to put over here. And I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this one. I mean, we could leave it there so people could still use it. But if I wanted to double up on research, it'd be better to have two high-tech research benches. Because I think... I think you work on these faster. It says it allows more rapid research. Is there like a modifier we can see? Research speed factor. Yeah, 74%. I don't think we see the stat here. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we lose we lose a quarter of our research speed working over here. So even if I wanted two work research stations so we could do it simultaneously, it'd be better to build two of those um, for sure. It's probably going to need to get a tool cabinet in here finally. I'll put the comms console over here. An orbital trade bacon in the middle of that. Oh, we got a few more blocks have shown up. Ready to go. Pi's gonna do construction rather than cleaning right now, which is a-okay. This room's still messy. Is this properly designated a home area? It is, okay. At your convenience, we can start hauling these little metal chunks. We still don't need to do any smelting because we're actually still good on metal. Uh, 500 units of that. I mean, you know, not infinitude, but we've got some. Where are you going? Oh, there's some steel over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and you're doing a little bit of mining. Yeah, we've actually caught up on a lot of outstanding tasks, which is nice. Kitten doing a little construction over here. Major break risk is sly. Your sister died. Yes. Oh, right here. Start. It moved. 4.6 days. And we do still have the bad weather, which continues, continuously makes people, you know, feel very uncomfortable. Occasionally they eat without a table, even though we've actually got some to spare. You just chill in your room. Yep, relaxing socially over there. Uh, gather spot is this one over here. That might influence where people move to. Quest, unknown nomad. Four desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader's called Roslyn. They claim to have escaped an organ harvesting operation. I want in on that. Uh, Roslyn begs you for permission to stay for seven days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free. If you make them happy, they may join you. I'm going to say yes. Now, we are lacking in beds. Um, what I'll do is we will build two, three, four. Oh, this one's going to be quite drafty, but that's not a thing. We're going to queue up some bed construction over here. Um, we don't, we don't have the blocks. We don't have the wood either. Uh, I need to access, um, furniture, beds, 45. I mean, we could vary it up. I don't really care what blocks get used. We'll have to check their thing. Okay, what we're going to do, even though this is going to be pretty miserable, we are going to designate this. I mean, I know we only need four of them, but we're going to designate this. We're going to make a little barracks here they can sleep on the floor until we get something sorted for them. Um, I guess we should check. Are any of them night owls? No. That's an interesting collection of traits. But no night owls. Uh, oh, Rosalind, you can do this. We'll just normalize on that. Okay. You suck at wardening, so don't do that. Uh, you do like animal handling, so if that has to be done, do that. Bring this way down so I can force the right click. Wow, you actually are kind of shit. If we want to cut any plants, I guess do that. 
I mean, I guess I could have you cut blocks or something. It's too bad you can't haul and clean. You would be, like, ideal for that. Fay, Can't really do that. You can cook, which is good. You can't really construct. Got some passion for mining, so at least that can get done. And at least you'll be able to help with some hauling and cleaning. Can't complain about this. Lewis. You could help with some construction if we end up having any material. You can craft, which is nice. You'll probably help make um, make some blocks for us, which is going to be handy. And Chaloke, a tech doctor. Can't actually do doctoring, which is funny. You do have some skill over here. But you're actually a tremendous researcher. What I'm going to do is shook... shook Sholaki, I'm going to put you on a nighttime schedule so that you can alternate maybe with Sly for doing the research. So Sholaki, I'm going to have you go to bed here and try to sleep through the day so that you might be able to double up on the research stations. And that'll be nice. Um, we have no food. That is going to be a problem with so many people all of a sudden showing up. Um, yeah, let's harvest all fully grown plants on the map. There is nothing to harvest. Not an ideal temperature. Oh, it's so hot, the food's not growing correctly. Oh, damn. I don't think it makes sense to butcher the ducks quite yet. You get them. Um, oh, you do get heat stroke. None of this is air conditioned. Okay, it's only minor. I think the animals actually have a fairly large comfort range with the temperatures. Yeah, plus 40. So they're only barely outside their comfort range. Hopefully the heat stroke the heat um, wave will end soon. So we're gonna have a lot of people with some problems here. Hmm. Hmm. We have, we do still have 15 meals. I'm going to wait until like last possible moment of desperation. Okay, heat wave being over is good because that will start, um, the plants will start growing better. Plus there'll be less possibility that a bunch of people will like have massive health problems over here. Um, Roslyn doing some research. Wait, really? Ros? Oh yeah, because Ros, it's annoying because you don't have the passion for it. Actually, let me drop this down. I mean, you do have a skill of six. Shit, never mind. We'll leave it there. I'm like, maybe it's better for you to have to do some grow and think. No, I don't know. Um, yeah. Damn. I'm happy we set this to corn. It's a little late to be able to help us with our immediate problem. But I am happy we've set that there. Okay, well, we're half an hour into this video. Let's put a cut in here and see who we get. We've got oh, some of these, I mean, just based on the graphics, you know, 65 and probably some health issues. Lots of people with bad backs. Could be a little bit annoying what i'll do is i'll well i guess it doesn't matter what kind of medicine do we have i don't even remember what category that shows up under have we actually collected maybe we've never collected any heal root because we don't have any herbal meds i think they would show up in this category maybe or another one that's not showing up at all um which actually might be the most likely case so we've never harvested these uh we might okay for our people can i do it in bulk somewhere else Don't use any of my real medicine. So right now we don't have any herbal meds, which is unfortunate for these guys, but we will very soon if they get hurt. But we'll just keep the proper medicine for people who have officially joined our little group here. Still got the forced weather of the foggy rain, which means everyone's still going to be disappointed about being wet all the time. Hopefully that's something we can improve later. For now, though, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.